Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinner and a Tip. My name is Brenda and I'm going to be your cooking guide. So if you have not already subscribed, please do so. We are a third of the way of getting monetized, so I would appreciate any subscribes, likes, or comments. So today's meal is fast and easy. And I know that sounds like your ideal prom date, but it is not. We're describing dinner because I'm super hangry today. And I really just want to eat something quick and fast and get back out the door. So today we're going to do a kind of a shrimp lo mein, I'm guessing is what we'll call it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So today we are doing with our vegetables, we're doing onions, mushrooms, and we've got some pea pods here. This is really up to your discretion on what vegetables that you want. You could do um, some peppers, you could do bok choy basically whatever you want. I'm a pretty big fan of not overdoing it with the vegetables. I'm trying to be a grown up. I'm trying to get there. I'm not there all the way yet. But I also have a rule that I don't put things in my mouth that I don't put on my black. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to finish that statement. Just put what you want in your food, whatever makes you happy. Today, this is what's making me happy. Onions, mushrooms, and pea pods. So, we are going to go ahead and start our vegetables first. So shrimp comes in two different colors. It comes in gray and it comes in pink. The difference is pink, it's already cooked. The, and then the gray, or like this almost looks white, is uncooked. Um, and what I like about this is it gives you a chance to season it, cook it a little bit longer, and get some of those uh, flavors built into your shrimp. So if you can get the uncooked it's actually a little bit cheaper for some reason don't know why but it is so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and just get a cook on our vegetables i like my vegetables a little bit crunchier when i'm having like a stir fry so we're just gonna go ahead and get started with those next i'm actually going to do the stir fry noodles you can get these at any of like walmart or cub it's more in the ethnic food aisles obviously in the chinese food section so this is what i'm going to use for today um comes in two little packs um this is just for me and one person today so i'm just doing the one pack but if you're doing a family of four you definitely want to use both packs these are already cooked you can get them uncooked but for fast quick dinner when you're hangry this is definitely the way you're going to want to go so you just want to break them up and then again i'm just using that avocado oil and you just want to give these a quick toss putting the oil kind of helps loosen up the noodles and that's what i'm looking for so i'm not going to season the noodles but i am going to hit the vegetables with just a little garlic salt and a little i'm a big fan of the peel lime seasoning so i'm just going to hit that here and then i'm going to do that a little bit on our shrimp too so and next we're going to do some garlic um so these vegetables are already kind of cooking and so next we're just going to go ahead and do the shrimp so the trick to shrimp is not to overcook it as soon as it starts turning pink then you're pretty much ready to go so i'm did a half bag of shrimp so i'm gonna do two tablespoons of butter and i'm just gonna go ahead and get this melted on our grill before i throw our shrimp on so normally i've got a lot more specific for measurements for seasonings but so much of this is to taste so i'm gonna go ahead and put our shrimp down so my seasonings, I'm just going to sprinkle some garlic salt. Definitely the peel lime. If you haven't gotten this stuff, you really need that in your life, I promise you. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper is all I'm going to do for our shrimp. You could throw some lime, lemon juice on here if you like. I'm fine without it, but I know a lot of people cook with that. All right, so our noodles are basically cooked because they're already heated our vegetables are good you want to make sure you've got your shrimp spread out when you're cooking them because you want to make sure that they're getting cooked on all sides oh i can smell the garlic the tequila lime seasoning seriously if i only had two spices the tequila lime would definitely be that so and then after we're going to go ahead and add a little sweet thai chili sauce this is if you like 
a little heat with it, go ahead and add it. What I like about that is it already has like the peppers in it. You could just do chili pepper flakes if you like the heat on them. So, and so basically I would say this whole dinner is probably only takes about 10 minutes if you don't talk and you focus on what you're supposed to be doing. It's super quick, super easy. Now shrimp does not necessarily, I wouldn't do shrimp as like a meal prep for the simple fact that it reheats okay. It's not something super fabulous that you'd want to reheat a lot. It gets pretty rubbery, so I wouldn't do that. So you can already see these are actually turning red. Sorry, we don't have a cameraman. No zooming in today. But that is all you're looking for. And I'm just going to cut one open just to make sure. And actually, these ones probably do need a little extra time. So... When it's kind of white inside, it's not it's not heated all the way through. That's the other problem when you cook in Minnesota in the winter and it's cold out, things don't cook as fast. So I'm gonna go ahead, since they are almost all the way cooked, I'm just gonna do probably a tablespoon of the sweet Thai chili sauce, but that's really your call. It depends on how much shrimp you have. So this one's kind of a more, if you like to try new things, try new seasonings. I mean, that's the best thing about cooking is you get to try, see what works, see what doesn't work. So, all right, we've got that chili. You can already smell a little bit. So the Thai chili, don't be too worried. It's not super crazy hot. So, so you're just gonna go ahead, take some of your noodles. I'm gonna plate this up pretty after, so that's why you're not seeing it all up but you'll see it when I plate it but I do want to give it a try all right here we go the noodles actually is what makes me the happiest on this dish but if you don't have the noodles go ahead and feel free to use just rice That's definitely going to cure my hangry issues that I've got going on right now. So go ahead, subscribe. Sweet Thai chili sauce, if you've never tried it with a shrimp, go ahead and add it. The tequila lime also brings a nice flavors. Go ahead, subscribe, eat happy, and we'll see you next time.